Okay, in this chapter we're going to be talking about derivatives. So this video is an introduction to that concept. What a derivative is, it's a slope of a curved line, or it could be a straight line, but usually we're, we're talking about slopes of curved lines. Now in pre-calculus you talked about slope, but you only would have done slope for straight lines. We're going to use that idea in order to come up with a formula for the slope of a curved line at a certain point. What we'll do is we'll first start with the point that we want to look at, that's going to be our x sub zero, and then we're going to add a little increment to it. The h that's here is a little amount that you're adding over from x sub zero. Since we have two different x values, we can find two different y values, so it's written here in function notation, f of x sub zero and f of x sub zero plus h. We're going to take this information and we're going to use a formula that should look familiar to you. We're going to use a formula that you would have seen in pre-calculus. This is the uh, slope formula if you're given two points. And we're going to put this information into the formula. On top we have the change in y's. We have our uh, two function notations here. That's the y values. Down below we're subtracting the two x values. x sub zero plus h minus x sub zero. Those x's cancel and we're left with an h. Now the formula that you're left with is going to be this one right here, and that should be a formula that should look familiar. In pre-calculus, this is known as the difference quotient. But we have an addition added to it, we have a limit. What we're trying to do is we're trying to minimize the distance between these. So normally we would take two points on a graph, find the slope, and that would give us an estimate for the slope. Ideally, you want to have these points be right next to each other because the farther you are away the less accurate it becomes. We want to find the exact value for the slope at x of zero. So what we're going to do, we're going to minimize the distance between those. That's why we have h going to zero. That's the, the increment here. This is going to get closer and closer and closer to where the two points will be right on top of each other and then that's going to end up giving us the exact value for the slope at x of zero. What also happens is instead of having two points on here, the slope is changing, changing, changing to where we'll be able to have what's called a tangent line. A tangent line is going to be a line that touches that point right here only at one spot. So it means that both points are actually combined together into a single one and that's where we get this. So this formula in the box is a way to find the slope of the tangent line. So the tangent line again would be a line that hit, touches the point once at the value of x equals x of zero. It's also the uh, same thing as saying we want to find the slope of the curved line at x sub zero. So what they're also going to ask you is they may ask you to find the equation of that tangent line. If we have the slope that we get from this point and you have the other one here that it goes through, then we can use um, point slope formula in order to figure out the exact equation of that line. And so we'll show that here with a couple of examples.